This is the newest version of the Canadian Forces Individual Meal Pack, or IMP. And this is the old version, and the packaging we're all familiar with, that old paper lunch bag. The new one weighs 1 pound 10.3 ounces, or 747 grams, while the old weighs 1 pound 12.5 ounces, or 807 grams. It's 60 grams heavier. And the new IMP is not only 60 grams lighter, but the outer packaging is resealable. And it's 100% waterproof. It can finally be submerged in water without springing a leak. IMP 20, that's from 2020. Menu 12, pulled pork. Not bad. Let's give it a look. Yeah, nice resealable outer packaging. That's great. Okay, so right off the bat, that's a date square. No cardboard box. I was wondering what made it lighter. That would do it. Here's the main. Also, not in a cardboard outer box. That's great. Pulled pork. Tortillas. Oh, wow. Reese's Sticks. Crispy chocolate wafers. Nescafe, sweet and creamy. It has coffee, creamer, and sugar. Three in one. Beverage bag with a nice gusset. So we can stand up on its own. Lemon lime beverage base. You get two of them. Peanut butter. One of those compressed napkins. The Canadian leaf on it. Making it official. Let's get the rest out. Tic Tacs. It reseals easily too. Nice. Raspberry jam. A little packaged Tabasco sauce. Matches. The Canadian IMP Spork. Heavy duty. Paper towel. Pretty nice looking amount of food for a single meal. And just like before, the flameless ration heater is issued separately. Looking pretty good. All right, let's get sat on your tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off by heating up that main. Again, that FRH not in the ration still, issued separately. I really do feel like along with the packaging upgrade and reducing the weight, that this could have been included. No big deal. Set the main on one side. Let's heat up the tortillas. If you warm up the date cake, it's a pretty high in moisture content and it could get pretty sticky. A lot of it could stick inside of the pouch. Nice reactive FRH. Not for the coffee. Never has that much of a scent. Just a very light, smooth and creamy coffee smell. And for the lemon lime beverage base.
So let's give the date cake a look. Actually, let's try out that coffee. Hmm. It's a pretty bold and robust scent. And the flavor is outstanding. It is smooth, strong, and not overly sweet. And has excellent flavor. Nothing artificial or off-putting about it. No chemical flavor or anything cheap. It tastes like fresh drip. It's like a classic Canadian double-double, which means two creamers instead of one. And now for the date cake. This thing, 41 grams of sugar. Ooh. Oh wow, the smell is, it is strong. A deep, velvety, sweet smell of dates. Nice. Looking pretty rich. The main and tortillas here. Oh yeah. And FRH. Definitely doing its thing. Let's give those Reese's sticks a look. A little something different. It's not coffee crisp or Kit Kats. Let's see if there's any bloom. No bloom. Nice. Boy, that's a strong smell of emulsified peanut butter and milk chocolate. Oh yeah, that main's ready. Heated right through. That FRH really does the trick. Look at all that old pork. Whoa, that's a lot of meat for any kind of ration retort pouch main. Before I bust out that tortilla, let's try this out on its own first. There are a couple cubed potatoes in there. A lot of pork. And it doesn't look overly processed. It looks great. Let's get a little both. Mm. That is a delicious pulled pork. Tender. Excellent texture. The potatoes. You can skewer them with the spork. Oh yeah. They're not too mushy. Hmm. The barbecue sauce isn't too sweet. A light smokiness. And the sweetness that's in there, it's brown sugar. And with vinegar, garlic and onion, Worcestershire sauce. Oh yeah, that's, I could just eat it like this. Get a little lemon lime beverage base. Then we'll attempt to do a tortilla. Other than the lime beverage base, the flavor does not conflict with the main. It's pretty mild. It reminds me of Gatorade. It seems like it has a little bit more actual electrolyte content. You could put both packs in there and fill it to the top, but let's save the other pack. Yeah, tortillas. Get two of them. seem pretty normal. No off-putting smell, no kind of chemical undertone to the scent of this tortilla. It is pleasant. Wow, look at that pork. That just looks so natural. Doesn't really need that Tabasco, but Put a little bit on, anyway. A little on there, too. Just a tad. 
pretty flavorful as it is. Oh yeah. Still can't roll a burrito like soft taco to save my life, but we'll make do. Look at that. It's not bad. I might save the other tortilla for the PB and J. It's a little bit of an atrocity. Peanut butter and jelly in a tortilla, but I've done it before and it, it works. tortilla I feel like it is definitely an upgrade I mean a pulled pork sandwich if you had the pain hamburger it's fun to call it that it's just hamburger bun but I could imagine that it would be like an equivalence of having a pulled pork sandwich at a minor league baseball game that'd be pretty nice but this is more practical you can have two pulled pork tortillas or one in one PB and J and a pulled pork tortilla they're pretty calorie dense and doesn't take up a bunch of space. I wish this ration came with a flameless ration heater. Still issued separately and I feel like that's a disadvantage. It was excellent though that they got rid of the outer cardboard box for the mains. You know, the cardboard boxes have a lot of excess weight to them. I believe it was maybe, if I remember correctly, I think it was a half ounce in cardboard. Getting rid of that that weight allocation could have been replaced with that FRH. So I feel like a slight missed opportunity in that, but it's not too bad. That pork, very lean and delicious. Look at that nice piece of meat. That is quality. There's a fair amount of vinegar. Excellent flavor. It is one of the best IMP mains that you can get. Very good. Hopefully it never gets discontinued because 39 grams of protein in that main, it's very sustaining. It's like pinnacle retort pouch food. It really is. Again, the potatoes, great texture. They're not mushy. It has a few carbs in there. I mean, you need those carbs in a strenuous, high-intensity combat situation, you know, or scenario. They definitely give you plenty of carbs in this ration. And this cafe. Bold. Smooth, strong, robust, high quality coffee, instant coffee that you can rely on. I mean, it's not overly sweet. It's not an offensively sweet three in one coffee. And it is a double double. There is double creamer in there, but it's also double strength coffee. Gotta check out this day square. Boy, that thing is moist. Very high moisture content. That was satisfying. Mm. Man. That is incredible. I love these things. So much margarine and brown sugar. Like a rich flavor of molasses. And an oatmeal cake on the outside. It's like oats. Such excellent texture. The fiber is important. Dates have potassium. It's pretty nutritious. Even has five grams of protein. And again, very high in calories. I mean, 410 calories in this. I'm not exactly sure how long these things would last. The shelf stability on them. It's just amazing because of that moisture content. That is, I don't know what kind of stabilizers they put in there to keep it from molding, but it's impressive. The whole ration is impressive. It seems like every year the IMP does something minor to major that's an upgrade. Tried and true and 
certainly rivals the USMRE in terms of quality, serviceability. This thing is outstanding. All right, let's do something crazy. Jelly tortilla. Mm. Let's check out that Reese's stick. Whoa, now that is some emulsified peanut butter and chocolate. Still melts on your fingers a little bit, but it could be worse. Not exactly sure how well it would hold up in a tropical or desert climate, but, hmm, a delectable crunch. Strong flavor of peanut butter, but seems a little bit unnatural. I mean, it's just so emulsified that I think the other one will be a little better. Hold on, let's finish this. Living dangerously. Mm. That's just what it needs. And a little bit of extra peanut butter rounds it off, makes it taste a little more natural. Oh wow. A raspberry jam peanut butter wafer, chocolate wafer. Now, this is what makes life exciting. Improvising, overcome, and adapt. Boy, that's waking me up between all the sugar and that coffee. Let's go back over to this. Look at this pathetic tortilla that I rolled up. Anyway, hmm, lots of jam in there. It's almost like a jelly donut. Hmm, just trying to convince myself. Date cake. Finish off with this. Oh wow. You know, after that candy bar, this doesn't even taste that sweet. Man. IMP, individual meal packs. This is some of the pinnacle currently in the world of a quality military ration. It is top tier. Now for the Tic Tacs. They still don't give you chewing gum. Not really sure why you'd be four of them. So when you're out on a job interview and you're talking to this guy, it's probably not going to hire you anyway. You know, one of those big mints, it's too big and you can't have chewing gum because that's looking disrespectful. You can always have one of these and if it falls out of your mouth, they're probably not going to notice when it falls on their floor on their desk. Hmm. Not really sure what it's doing in a ration, but they're nice. Kind of has a slight vanilla flavor, like a vanilla mint. Oh yeah. The compressed napkin. Watch it grow. So absorbent. Makes for an excellent washcloth that is pretty strong and super absorbent. So this was the new Canadian IMP. Outside of its packaging and the removal of the cardboard on the dessert and main. Other than that, 14 gram reduction in weight and then 46 grams for the packaging itself and being able to submerge it in water. Outside of that, no upgrades or changes, but gotta say, pulled pork is an excellent menu. The date cake accompanies it very well. I highly recommend if you ever find one or trade for one or what have you, go for it. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.